uh, do you have your pie? Yes. Uh, okay, go ahead and get that out. And we're going to talk about this today. Uh, have you guys seen the new iPhone 4? Yes. 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 Someone has it? Yes. My yes. uncle does. My dad. Yeah. Well, I actually I have something that's newer than that that you, that you guys haven't even heard of. Um, it's you know it's very multi-purpose. A lot of things you can use. It's it's totally green. Takes no energy. Uh, it, it's this right here. What is this? You think it's a chair? You think it's a chair? A chair is only one of the many, many, many purposes. That this right here could serve for you in your life if you so desire. One of the things, say you need to change the time on the clock. Watch this right here. This way, step stool. Oh, no problem. You guys skateboard? Skateboard right here? Skateboard ramp. Boom, right there. Guys, if you just if you just want to look fly, you put it this way, you just kind of do one of these deals. Oh, oh. Get the ladies. Right there. Oh, 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 it's like a dance move. Also doubles as a workout machine. You can kind of harder to do, but there, ooh, one. See? S steel. Thighs of steel. Works as a fan. Right here. See that? Pull yourself right off. Let's say uh, you got mouse problem, a little mice problem in your house. You're just eating up all your food. A little piece of cheese right there. Boom. Dead mouse. Mouse trap. It is, say you're at your house and you just need to have a bookshelf right here, one nail, boom, bookshelf. Right there. What else? Now this one, this is a little extra. I can throw this in with this particular purchase, but it goes like this. Right there. Portable dinner table. You like it? You want this, don't you? For uh, five, five small installments of 99, 99, 99. This could be yours. Guys, everyone is doing it. This is catching like wildfire. It's like the next iPhone. It really is. Everyone wants it. Guys your age, they need it. You need this. You need it. I'm telling you, yes. You want it. You want it. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm persuading. Yes, sir. That's true. I don't know. Uh, okay, so that was silly. I was just persuading you to buy a pretty useless thing, right? Yes. You guys want it? Yes. Okay. The, the reason that uh, the reason that we had you write a paragraph about your biome is because at the end of the class, after we talk a little bit more about how to do this, um, you guys are going to try to persuade your classmates to move to your biome, or that your biome is the absolute best there is. You're going to try to do the same thing with your biome that I did with that worthless chair, which is actually like my grandpa's. Um, what kind of language did I use, and should you use, when you want to persuade someone? Exclamation points? Right. Enthusiasm, right? You need to be enthusiastic, you need to be excited about it. What else? What kind of language, what kind of things should you say when you want to persuade someone? Let me, let me, I'll come, go ahead, go. Um, that it's like the best thing. That it's the yeah. best thing ever? Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll stick with excited. Let's say you're in the car and someone wants to go to Chick-fil-A and you know Chick-fil-A is totally a drag and you want to go to Taco Bell. How are you going to convince them, how are you going to persuade them that Taco Bell is where it's at? What? It's closer? <laughs> what, what kind of tools are you going to use? Go ahead. The better, tell them what's so great about it, right? Okay, what else? Tell them it's cheaper. It's cheaper, so all the good things about it. Just think about tools of persuasion. How did I just sell that to you guys? What did I say? I was very repetitive. Yes, very good. Repetition. All right, what else? Facts, okay, what else? Yes, good job. What else? <laughs> Examples, okay. Anything else? What kind of words did I use? What, what did I compare it to? No, I compared it to some, some new thing that just came out. Right, and so I was saying it's new. Right? It's new. It's brand new. Never before seen. What else? 
Persuasive language. What else did I say? What did I say about everyone? I said everyone is what? Right, so what is that? What am I trying to do? It's bandwagon. That's it. You're about to say it. Jump on the bandwagon. That's right. Or peer pressure, you know? Everybody else is doing it. Your parents are like, if everyone else is jumping off the bridge, would you jump off the bridge too? Right okay. Okay, guys, now listen for this kind of language. You ready? Okay, here we go. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a shammy, it's like a towel type of sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. Sham Wow holds 20 times its weight in liquid. Look at this. It just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? Doesn't trip. Doesn't make a mess. You wring it out, you wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. You can cut it in half, use one as a bath mat, drain your dishes with the other one, use one as a towel. Olympic divers, they use it as a towel. Look at that, completely dry. Put a wet sweater, roll it up, it dries your sweaters. Here's some cola. Wine, coffee, cola, head stain. Not only is the damage going to be on top, there's your mule That is going to smell. See that? The most it's going to, we're going to do this in real time. Look at this. Put on a spill, turn it over without even putting any pressure. 50% of the cola right there. You follow me, camera guy? The other 50%, the color starts to come up. No other towel's going to do that. It acts like a vacuum. And look at this. Virtually dry in the bottom. See what I'm telling you? Yes. Yeah, wow. You'll be saying wow every time. I can't live without it. I just love it. Oh my gosh. I don't even buy paper towels anymore. If you're going to wash your car, it's really kind of pickle. You'd be out of your mind not throwing one of All I can say is, Sham, wow. You're going to spend $20 every month on paper towels and your money away. The mini Sham Wows are for everything, for everyday use. This lasts 10 years. This lasts a week. I don't know. It sells itself. The Sham Wow sells for $19.95 when you get one for the house, one for the car, two for the kitchen and bathroom. But if you call now, within the next 20 minutes, because we can't do this all day, we'll give you a second set. Absolutely free. So that's eight sham wows for nineteen ninety five. It comes with a ten year warranty. Here's how to order. Call one 800 That's one 800 Okay. So what was the deal with the stories that is made in Germany? What was the deal with the I'll throw in two extras? Like what's that kind of called? Can you think of what that's called? Huh? Added bribery. Who said bribery? That's totally what it is. He's trying to bribe you. It's like if you do this right now, I'll throw this in for free. Okay, so go ahead and write some of this down on underneath your pie or around your pie somewhere because you're going to need this kind of language uh, in a second. I want you to go ahead and pick about four or five of these that, uh, that you want to use. Who do you think, the ShamWow guys, what, who was his specific audience? Who do you think he was gearing that towards? Adults, boat owners. RV owners, all those people that were doing that stuff, right? Um, intense language, you know what that means, right? Wow, incredible, unbelievable. Repetition, he definitely used that. Testimonials, he used that. Humor, he didn't really use humor at the end. But I think you guys are going to want to use humor when you do it. Uh, what is association? What does that mean? You guys understand what that means? H how do most, like, like billboards and commercials... They, they use this all the time, association. Anyone can guess what that means? Go ahead. <laughs> they use celebrities, definitely. Did you guys catch who the sham wow guy, uh, who uses the sham wow? Did you, did you catch that? He said some, some specific group uses this. <laughs> Olympic, <laughs> Olympic divers. Yeah, Olympic divers. He also, he also, this is expert approved. That's what that means. He's saying, oh, the Germans made this. Germans make awesome stuff, right? He did bribery. Association is when you associate a product with uh, an idea, like fun or beauty or pleasure. And so you see, like, you know, you know some, uh, an advertisement for a marker, you know? And on the, ad, on the commercial, they're never going to be like, this marker is awesome. They're going to be like, this marker is amazing, big smiles, using the marker. <laughs> and so what they're doing is they're associating what with what? Fun and pleasure with the marker, right? And the reason there's always beautiful people on advertisements, right? Always. They're always associating beauty with this product, whatever it is, right? Like if you buy this phone, you'll be beautiful, right? It's all, it's all throughout marketing, guys. It's all throughout. Just go to the mall. Let's go to the mall. 
Look at the advertisements of them all. It's, it's unbelievable. They're trying to associate something with some certain product all the time. Direct claims, what does that mean? It's pretty self-explanatory, right? Yeah. It's like, it's just directly claiming this does this, right? Mm -hmm. They use that all the time. Never before seen, I tried that one. Rhetorical questions, what, is that, what does that mean? You know, you know, yeah, something you don't answer. How, so, so how would, how did the shame well guy use it? He, he was like, yeah. Why, why would you spend twenty dollars a week on paper towels and you can have this, right? It's a rhetorical question. The bandwagon and then specific audience. Okay, so when you guys now are gonna start, you're gonna get in groups and you're gonna try to persuade us that your bio is absolutely the best. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You need to choose your audience. Okay, so. If you are going to be, if your biome, let's say your biome is the grasslands, then you, you might want to persuade buffalo to move there. You understand? Because buffalo like grass. They're going to eat grass. So maybe you want your audience to be buffaloes. Okay, now I have a completely different style of persuasion. Are you ready for this? You're not ready for this. Not ready for this. Ready? or new, this thing is, I've never seen this thing before, you might end up tired, soaking wet, and with an animal body, right? That's what they're saying. So it's a narrative, it's a story, and then they're saying, uh, comparing two things and saying, this is so much better than this, no matter how bizarre it is. So when you try to persuade, you can try to employ that kind of persuasion as well. Do you guys get it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put you in groups, and this is what's going to happen. I'm going to put your biome, you have to use at least three of these tools, okay? When you do it, and then uh, appeal to at least 